Hi everyone, in today's video, we will learn about EMS IoT. It is Celex, cloud-based platform which provides a solution to monitor and control electrical and process panels, it provides ease of access to devices, with email notifications and an Android app. And it is supported by AWS Cloud Service. Let us log in into the admin account. This is Super Admin Login, where we can view the inventory that is available on the G Cloud platform, along with the list of all the clients which are connected to the cloud. Let us select the products from the list where we have installed IoT in our own premises to monitor the different kind of data. This is a common IoT platform where one can connect all select products which communicates on RS-485 like meters, PLCs, temperature controllers that can easily be integrated on this platform with help of Wi-Fi converter which works dedicatedly with our IoT platform. As you can see, on the left-hand side, are the features that we provide on Celec IoT platform. First is a dashboard. It is a typical customized widget based, where client can add and assign the widgets. They select the device and the parameters, as per the requirement. So this is part of the dashboard view, like button view, there is a power, temperature value. From here, you can edit the widget and by clicking the calendar icon, you can see the list of time slots. One can see the data according to the time that is 3 hours ago, 6 hours ago, 12 hours ago, 24 hours ago, today, yesterday, this week, this month, last month and custom range, where you can select the range of the date you want to see the data as per the requirement. We can view the widget in two ways, horizontal view or in grid view. In a device section, you will find the list of a parameters that are assigned to a particular customer or a client. Here you can see the list of device family. Wherever there is a gateway device assigned, we have indicated with blue color and mentioned as gateway. Where we have smart devices, which has inbuilt Wi-Fi in it, we have indicated with green color and mentioned it as smart. Then the slave device which supports RS-485 communication is indicated with yellow color and mentioned as slave. By viewing any of the device model, one can check how many devices of that model are connected on the platform. So as seen here, one device is connected to this gateway device. Now in general settings section, one can view the MAC address of the device, and also edit the name of the device, and click on save. Same thing, if I show you another device, one more gateway where we have assigned, different Wi-Fi meter. Under the configure tan, one can go, and check the connected devices. Right now, the red indication itself gives you indication that the device is off. As seen in the previous device, there was a green indication, which meant that the Wi-Fi device was on, and the slave device connected to it was also on. But right now, both the gateway and the slave devices are off. One can go inside the configuration of the slave device and can generate the reports as per the selected parameters.
One can also edit the general settings, like data log interval, the name of the slave device and the slave ID of the device. Let us now go to configuration. In the configuration section, there is parameter option, from where one can select the parameters, which are to be monitored on the Select IoT platform, as per the requirement. These are the parameters, which you can control the value from the platform itself. Here is an eye icon in front of some parameters, which indicates that these parameters are writable, so we can write those parameters and control them from this platform. Then we have alarm section to configure. Here you can create new alarm, you can give alarm name, select the parameter, select the conditions less than, greater than, equal to, in between, and then set the threshold value. So this message is a predefined message, and one can also write a custom message in addition to it. Now, add the email ID at which you want the notification. Multiple email IDs can be added. User can also add push notification, which will appear under the bell icon on the header of the platform. Here in the network section, one can see how many smart and gateway devices are connected to this network. And also we can see that, how many slave devices are connected to the gateway device. In the alarm section, you can see the alarm history, how many times the alarms were generated. So it gives you the device-wise alarm history. Scheduling of reports is also possible, one have to just give the report name, frequency of schedule you want that is daily, weekly, or monthly. Select the devices and the parameters that you want to automatically generate the report from the platform. So the generated schedule report will be sent from the IoT platform to the added email ID on the selected frequency. Then we have a location section where one can map the area where he has located the devices. So this is the location mapping. So this helped the customer to locate the devices wherever he has installed in India. Also we have a hybrid view where anybody has any critical parameters to monitor, one can make their own dashboard or hybrid view. One can add a machine and add its parameters and can adjust the placement of the devices and manage the view according to the requirement. Then also it gives you an hierarchy options where one can define the roles in the system related to their employees and it can access the platform. This is the role name where you define the access that you want to give the particular colleague or an employee. And then you can add the user on the platform. In user section, you can add new user and also manage the existing users. To create a new user, go to new user then enter the name, email ID of the user and select the user type that is admin or user and then select the role of that user account and click on create. Once you click on create button, the platform sends automatically an invite to that particular user to join the Selec IoT platform. So, this is how Selec IoT platform works.
If any report are to be customized, which anybody want to add, the platform is free to add that reports. We can update the report as per the customer requirement.